Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. So I want to share this word with y'all about, you know, uh, submitting to God and resisting the devil. You know, the Bible says right here in James chapter 4, verse 7, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And you probably not heard this scripture before. You probably seen a lot of people post it or, or talk about it, you know. And But when you really dig into this scripture, James 4, 7, the Bible says the first thing to do is to submit ourselves to God. And then the next thing is to resist the devil. And once we do these two things, the Bible says that the devil is going to flee from us. He's going to run away from us. But see, we got too many Christians today that's trying to resist the devil without submitting to God. We got too many that's trying to cause the devil to flee without submitting to God. And I'm here to tell you, the devil ain't about to leave none of us alone if we ain't submitting to God. We will not walk in victory if we don't first submit ourselves to the Lord. Jesus told us in the book of John that without him, we can do nothing. Because we are the branches and he are the true vine. That's why he said, abide in me. Continue with me and I will abide in you. Then he said, ask whatever you will and I'll give it to you. But you got to stay with me. A lot of Christians is falling off. A lot of Christians losing their fire. A lot of Christians losing their zeal. A lot of Christians uh, have turned their back on Jesus Christ. Have become backsliders. Have turned their back on the Lord. We have a lot of Christians that's just uh, turned away from the faith. We see a great falling away happening. We see a lot of Christians who just given up. Temptations have overtaken them. They've conformed to the world. There's no more talk about God anymore. There's no more witness in them. There's no more anointing, no more zeal, no more fire. Because they have allowed the devil to conquer them. They have allowed the God of this world to consume them. And it's because they haven't been applying John, uh, James 4, 7. Submit to God first. And when we think about submit, that means to yield ourselves to the Lord. We have to yield our time to the Lord. Submit our time to him. Submit our will to him. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. We got to be willing to deny ourselves. Following Jesus comes with a self-denial. He said the first thing we got to do is deny ourselves and take up this cross to be his disciple. We have to give up what we want to do and submit our ways and our will to the Lord. John the Baptist said, he must increase, but I must decrease. When John the Baptist made that declaration, he was declaring that the Lord must become more important in my life. And I must become less important. It's no longer about me. It's about doing the will of God. It's about doing the will of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. My friend, the devil is not going to stop tempting us. He's not going to stop trying to draw us away from the Lord. He's not going to stop until we end up in hell. That's his mission, to steal, kill, and destroy us. He's not going to stop with the attacks. But Jesus said that he gave his disciples power over Satan. In the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 18 and 19, he said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Jesus said, I have given you power over demons and the devil. But that's something that we have to do first. We have to submit to him. How is we spending our time? If we're spending more time in our phone, on social media, at the mall, watching TV, doing things of the world, then we is with the Lord. Then we is reading our Bibles, worshiping and praying. Are we really submitting ourselves to the Lord? Or are we submitting ourselves to the world? Are we allowing these distractions? Are we submitting to distractions? Then we is to our Bibles. And that's where the error come in, my friend. That's where a lot of Christians error come in. Submitted to everything else except the Lord and his will. He made this promise to us that if we submit to him, then we will have that power. He will in return give us the Holy Ghost. He will give us the power. He will give us the strength. He will give us that endurance 
to resist the devil. And once we have that, the devil is going to run away from us. He won't be able to call us to fall into that temptation. He won't be able to cause us to drink that liquor. He won't be able to cause us to go to the bar. He won't be able to cause us to watch that porn. He won't be able to cause us to run into fornication and have sex with somebody we ain't married to. He won't be able to cause us to sin against the Lord. Why? Because we have submitted ourselves to the Lord. And the Lord has in return given us the power that we need to resist him. And this is a continual thing. So my friend, let's submit ourselves to God. Let us resist the devil and cause him to flee. I know this walk gets tough. And I know the attacks are intensifying. But hallelujah, he that is in us is greater than he who is in the world. And as the Lord said, if we submit ourselves to him and resist the devil, he's going to flee from us. Y'all be blessed.